It is a dark time for XCOM. We're in April. And we've just had the worst mission of the campaign thus far. And what is actually done in a very, very bizarre turn of events, it's actually wiped out the entirety of the middle management. Leaving only uh, Captain Stilgar and Trazian left of the original command, well, not the original command team, but of the command center that used to be nigh unkillable. So, yeah, I basically renamed some soldiers. I decided to do that off screen because I had to actually... I had a long list of names, but I haven't had to use them in ages, and I'd finally come to the end of the list. So I had to look up who the last three or four LPs were. Uh, Trade GS is the worm, Trade GS, as opposed to the... Um, as opposed to Paranoia Complex, Trade GS, because I decided we needed... We needed friendly computer on side here. We desperately need something on our side, that's for sure. Sub pen at base complex is complete. Research is completed. Let's see some reports. MC readers. Uh, basically, they are things. And that's to read MCs. It works somehow. Um, I think we need to do calcinite corpses and then we'll do the... Then we'll do the terrorist because it sometimes does things in odd order. It's in this game, so I'm going to get the corpse done first. Let's actually only allocate 50 to that, and then I'm going to up the zerbite to 50. We can now manufacture MC readers. We're going to need them, but not yet, I don't think. Um, yeah, keep working on that iron armor. We're going to need that. Not this proves all that effective. Small, very deep sub. Well, let's go shoot it down. We might just get lucky enough to do this in the morning. It's for larger variant sub, so just what we need. Oh. Yeah, I'm switching between the two because I want it to stay far enough back that we'll be okay, but I do want to... Yeah. I do want to be able to hit it if it tries to run away. Still, Gore's weaponry apparently is still the way to go here. Let us then equip the submarine, because we've got a lot of random equipment shuffling to get done. I think Gore's pistols are out. Don't need them anymore. That's how it's going to go. Um, we don't need that many of things. Ten... 10 chem flares just to be on the safe side. Might as well keep the gauze rifle. Oh, we're off to max equipment. Sonic pulsars down to 10 then. So we've got slightly too much here actually. DP, get rid of that for now. We can get rid of a couple of the sonic cannons. That should work, right? Yes, you should. Okay. Then we need a crew. So we're going to take on Rose and most of the new new blood. Actually, no. Let's not take the new blood. Let's take some of the old blood before we go into the um, into the new stuff. Nine and Rose then will be the first of the recruits there. We actually don't have a sealer camp ready, do we? And that is problematic. Okay. Iron armor to the survivors of the last mission and to Kelmar because we don't know who he is. And then all of aquaplastic armor goes up. So it's. I think we're just about. Gonna, yeah, we'll get everybody into some form of armor. And most of it will be up, upgraded armor, but. Oh dear, we need this to go quite well. I think we just about beat the darkness. Looks like it. So, onwards. Also, that sound glitch is back. Ah! Ah, well. Ah, well. I'm not sure how I fixed it, so I'm not sure how to solve it. Um. Yeah, onwards. Rose. Snapshot ready. You're going out there. And one detected, just an aquatoid. You did miss though, so need to go and get a new guy. Ariel, well, new gal. 
Ariel, you're up next. And so long to you, sir. Finally, we're just going to move one around the back. That might be... No, this is rocket ship Granny we're moving around the back. And I think that'll end the turn there. Obviously, rocket ship Granny has no reactions whatsoever, but that's okay. We know where one is. Kind of. Okay, not good. Right, you duck and wait there. We'll then go for rows around the outside. Not a lot seen. Aerial then down to here. Just trying to be careful here. What we need now is a crazy guy. Crazy guy, go out and find the alien, although you didn't, so that's more worry for us next turn. Um, let's set up Tropical Oil Man around there, and we'll end that at that point, because we're getting a bit... Since the enemies are now starting to use grenades, I think it's a good idea to assume they're always going to. You're a lucky crazy guy. Take some shots. Burr. Well, I'm going to cover the, the entire place now in, um, in particles. I'll darn you. Alright, Rocket Ship Granny's going to spend ages walking across that now. And you can stay there. Alright, Rose. Still got a USO to find. Aerial. Nothing much. And that just leaves Tropical Oil Man. To shuffle up to there. Okay. Stilgar! Let's get you out of the sub, along with Kelmar. And you're basically on backup duty now. Let's, let's see what happens from here. That one found. Moving in the darkness. Okay, that might well have been over here. Looking at this. Yes, it was. Right, Rose, aim shot. And the Aquatoid dies. You might as well use the rest of your movement to see if you can find anything. You didn't. Oil Man has found something though. You found a dude. Shoot for dude. Based on my last mission, I should be really annoyed that they're hitting everything now. <laughs> Well, it happens. All right, Ariel's then got to the corner, so no, no USO there to worry about. Crazy guy. Doesn't find anything that way. And you can get over to there, except that you've moved back onto... All right, fine. You're basically stuck there. For all intents and purposes, still go. Around you go. Keep you available for long range sniping and Kelmar for the same purpose over here. Lots well, of aliens about, but they're not really getting a lot of shots on us by the look of this. Um, yeah, that'll do. Mr. Oil Man. Hopeful you'd actually find that, but oh well. Snapshot saved. Rose then. There we go. Uh, take another shot then, I guess. Another shot, another kill. I'm 
kind of wishing we had her on the last mission. So looking at this, the USO is likely probably to be in this corner. I don't normally put it around um, hilly terrain, so that'll be the job of Mr. Oil Man to find, and possibly Ariel if we can get him moving. Uh, Kelma, head over that way. And the guy of crazy, up there. Particle effects plus random terrain penalties. Yeah, you're, you're lucky to be moving that far, to be honest. Keep getting a vision of something just out of range, so. Don't know. Mr. Oilman? Nothing. Our new elite sniper. I don't find anything either. So still no USO. Still that occasional flickering over that way. Um, you did not seem to walk very far at all. I'm sure on a strength penalty or something. There we go. Right, and the ship has some damage, so we're going to go through the side of it this time, rather than through the through the front door. Because we've learned our lesson about that sort of thing. For now. Meanwhile, you just head up there and make sure there's nothing evil approaching. taking a turn of movement. Right. Let's move Mr. Trilby into combat, I think. Just so we got a backup. It's always worth having a backup in case things do go wrong. Yeah. So that's why we're getting a little flickering, because it's an open ship, so... There's a chance of randomly being able to see them, even though we shouldn't. the entrance. Or at least there's the entrance we actually care about. But we're going to have to have Kelmar supporting Ariel along here just in case there is something at the proper entrance that we have to worry about. things there. Well, it's obviously an aquatoid because there wouldn't be anything bigger on this sort of ship, but something there. Alright. Rose then, let's put you into a risky position. But you can see inside the ship now, and you're not going to be the only one. Stilgar should be able to see as well. Movement, just Kelmar. Alright, there's somebody in the command area, I think, based on where it was centering. Um, beyond that, though, I don't know. This could well be a job for Tropical Oil Man. between their reaction fire, I should be able to find something. Crazy guy, just make sure there's nothing going to come up behind us and go boo. Because that would be annoying. <laughs> you just cannot move in that sort of terrain at the moment, can you? Oh well. Shuffle up. 
and turn. And I've got a feeling that if there's a travel oil man in there now, he will die. Come up. Advances, and as soon as we find out where she is, Ariel shall advance as well. Right. Mr. Oil Man, sir. Let's have a look. Uh, actually, I can probably wait on that. If I do that next turn, though. Now, just stay out of trouble for now. We've got enough snapshots type things on there currently, so I can set up a grenade for next turn. Uh, Rose and Stilgar will keep the position. Crazy Guy will keep running up there for now. Nope, there was nothing. Rocket Ship Granny can converge. Alright, nothing happening. So, Prime Grenade 4-0, Fru Grenade. Two are there. And just take a step backwards. Right, having done that, Ariel then moves towards the front, since we're fairly certain from what we saw earlier that it should be okay. We've got Kalman there for a backup in case of something. Nothing dead. Might though have spooked something, I guess. But nothing dead. Ariel then. Kelma. Alright, oily man. Let's have a look. That was a very good shot, Rose. <laughs> you fact that was a phenomenal shot. Rose, yeah, Ensign, you deserve that one. So we now have a new sniper. Um, actually, I wanted to our accuracy before we started this. 70%, uh, yeah, she's a sniper. Uh, she might have a better accuracy than Stilgar. He, she does. Still got strength now is phenomenal. Um, he still has the 10 bravery issue, but we won't hold that against him. And that was a victory, sir. And a much needed one. General stores of base complex is now complete. I think this is now at the point where we can now establish this as a base. So sub is done. Let's build some more facilities. We'll need a secondary sub pen. Which can go there. So now that the stores are in, and that, and the thing we got there. We now need wide array sonars to be done. Then I believe it's in a workshop. Let's build another living quarters and another general stores for now. Then I need to go back and actually sell some stuff. Um, first thing we're going to be selling, we could sell for all the launcher stuff because we've had this for a while and haven't really been able. We should have sold that off a, a while ago, really. Uh, Solid hopium bolts, do we need to get rid of those as well? Yes. Uh, Gore's stuff can probably stay. I might sell the pistols. Yeah, we'll sell the pistols off. Don't need those. Um, what else have we got? Corpses. Rifles. You have one DP. No, actually, we'll keep all of that. Keep all of that. We can sell a stun weapon or two off, though. Since we have one already on this ship, we don't need any more than that. And I'm going to sell off a load of Sonic Pulsars, because I don't use them anywhere near this much. And we get some every mission, regardless. Right, so that puts two million back in pocket. Let's purchase a Coelacanth Aquajet and some missiles. Up 
probably purchase another one for base complex in a bit, but for now that's okay. Actuate missiles. Very small, shallow. Okay. Don't know quite what you're doing there, but either way. You're going to get shot down and destroyed. Oh, it's only downed. Now, you have to destroy one man ships because they, they can occasionally be um, searching for the base. Well, either way, this means we've got a secondary mission going on, so... Let's get to it. Hunt down one last remaining alien. Uh, do I need anything in terms of that? Probably not. Right. What I probably should have done before we started was equip some um, iron armor. But oh well. Right, snapshot saved. Aerial. Okay, we're in a corner, which is... Actually, we don't appear to be in a corner, actually. I thought we might have been, but we're not. Rockship Granny. Round you go. We're certainly on an edge, though. Crazy Guy already has a rank, so let's send out Grublet. Alright. In turn one. There he is. Okay. So let's have Grubbly go and see if we can find him. Oh no, he was that side of the thing. Okay. Rose then. There we go. And since roses are... 92% accuracy super sniper. Boom. Well, that was a mission. Um, then bases. Right. So, Aquanaut Rose. Two missions, four kills. Firing accuracy increase, health increase, stamina increase, time units increase, strength increase. And yeah, you really should have better armor. Living Quartz, the Temple of Power is complete. That means we can now purchase some new scientists, I believe, was the main purpose behind that. So we can purchase number 25. Actually, how much space do we have in research at the moment? Um... Yeah, we have another 50 space available, so let's go and purchase another 50 scientists. Well, as many of these as we can get away with. Probably only 25 for now. But it's near bankruptcy, but we're at the end of the month, so... Oh, you've arrived. Excellent. Funding increase. Okay, no problem areas, and more money is always worth it. Research is completed. View reports. Calcinite autopsy. This is what they are. And now we can research the Vibro Blade. Yeah, we didn't need the live one apparently, but that's fine. So, we can now start researching all of those melee weapons, and they are some of the better weapons to have in the game. I'm probably going to research those fairly soon, but we're going to go for Magnetic Navigation next. Okay, start of May. What are you going to throw at me, game? Small, shallow... USO. In the dark. Well, it probably won't be dark by the time we get there, but that's fine. Small scout ship. And we're trying to escape, are we? I'm not going to have that. Come on. Research completed. Uh, view reports. Zerbite. So now we know um, part 
Part gold, part alien biomaterial. We need less power source. Yep. Make the units of uh, 10 times the size. The advanced technical ability to replicate this material as most of the constitutes are alien in origin. We can now research DPLs. And we're going to research DPLs. You may say poor. Oh, darn it, it has escaped. That's rather irritating. But DPLs. Oops. Uh, yep, another 25 scientists to go and help with that. Putting it up to average. So, also, how are we doing here? So, in six, we're going to have two of those labs online. Um, how many soldiers do we actually have here? We, have we do have the 20 aquanauts needed, so that's both our MC labs sorted. We now need a permanent staff of 20 on base now. And that might be the same one. In fact, it is. That's a music key, so... So I'm going to shoot this down, hopefully, and then next mission we go for them. But also, we're going to equip some ion armor before we do much else. Also, because you're going to escape. Well, before I managed to click it, actually, but that's fine. Right. Base. Equip submarine. Trade one. You now get... Aquajet. Um, do, 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 everything should look more or less the same there. And this is getting more intense as we go on here. Rose, iron armor. In fact, we have enough iron armor now to upgrade the entirety. And our soldiers on the ship. What I want to do, though, is actually have a quick look at the menu here. I'm going to take Crazy Guy and... Tropical Oil Man off. Ah, oh, no, it's fine. We'll leave with that as is. So, next time, Crash Site 28. Until then.